Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Miami on the Rocks, Casey Chops. I appreciate everybody tuned in, everybody listening, Spotify, Apple Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, all of that. Make sure you subscribe, leave a review. We're trying, you know, I'm trying to be like the Miami Joe Rogan out here. I got my brother. I've known Mozzie. Shout Mozzie. I've known Mozzie for a minute. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well, brother. Oh, you good. I'm no, doing yo. well, brother. Yo, yo. <laughs> Shout my brother Mozzie in here. I got I got Rose in here. Rose, how are you? What's up? I'm great. How you you chilling? I'm chilling. Chillin'. Steph, how are you? Fabulous. Tell tell the tell the people a little bit about yourself and your story, man. Because we're gonna get to the really we're gonna get to the shits, but but we gotta, you know. Well, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, you feel me? I've been the grind is crazy. Mm. The life is crazy. Mm. And for the people that don't know Mazi, he's done some dope things, entrepreneurial things. Can you please yeah. let people know some of the things you, you've accomplished? Oh man, I wrote a book. Mm, you were telling me that. I'm an author. I'm a published author. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I own property mm. in Atlanta. We have stores in Atlanta. We also uh, have businesses here. We're on the jet ski company mm. that she runs and own also. And Rose also owns a door lounge, which we're opening up a whole lounge, a whole hookah Fire. lounge in ATL soon. Fire. You yeah. Feel me? Yeah. 2021 is going to be the opening, the release Fire. date. So, Mazi, are you from Miami? Or where, where? I was born on a plane, bro. I was legit. Oh, dead. I told you, man, my shit crazy, man. My life crazy, bro. So wait, well, I've like, never heard of this in my life. Yo, G shit. <laughs> dog. My mama and my daddy was coming back from PR. My mama and my daddy was coming back from PR and um, was bringing her basically down here to Miami. My daddy lived in Miami. And so as we flying in, my mama was pregnant. She wasn't mm. supposed to mm. birth, but we was on a PJ. That was my first time. Never been on the PJ. Still, that's why we have taking the trip on a on a private jet. Yeah, in 2020. It was one of my biggest dreams I wanted to do. But long story short, but long story short, uh, yeah, she was on the jet. Mm-hmm. Uh, we flying back here mm-hmm. to Florida, basically. Mm-hmm. My mama lived in West Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. So as we hear from this, this how they tell me. Uh, my mama went into labor on the plane. Her water broke. Wow. Oh, so, man. so yeah, G shit. Her water broke, and a nigga sitting here like, I mean, damn, can I say nigga? Yeah, so, say whatever. Just <laughs> so then, so then, um, uh, her water broke. So my daddy panicking or whatever the case may be, and then next thing you know, I just I popped out basically. <laughs> so yeah. like, where you were uh, on the way from Puerto Rico to Florida? My daddy came from Jamaica to get my mom from Puerto Rico, so we left from. Uh, What's the airport? The Louise, 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 which in Puerto Rico? In yeah. Puerto Rico, it's, I'm not sure. It's in San Juan, though. Okay. I forgot the name of. Okay. Luis Munoz, I think. Yeah, okay. It. Yeah. And we flying from now, and yeah, man, come in here. So you're you're Puerto Rican, Rican Jamaican. I'm Puerto Rican and Jamaican. Yeah. Okay, no doubt, no doubt. And Rose, talk. Uh, Rose, where are you from? You're Cuban, or are you? I'm Cuban Nicaraguan, but I was born and raised here in Miami. I've been okay. born and raised my whole life. Okay, dope. Where in Miami? It's been anywhere from Kendall, Hialeah. Ain't it where from? <laughs> Fuck you. Listen, I've been all around Dade County, okay. North Miami. It's been mainly Hialeah and Liberty City, to be honest. Okay. And then I moved over to Kendall. Why you didn't okay. tell me you was ratchet? <laughs> I was born into it. What do you mean? Palmetto Hospital. It, it, yo, you threw up the hospital, the gang sign. That's it. <laughs> Steph, where you from? I'm born and raised here in Miami, South uh-huh. Beach. It was where I was raised. Yeah, on the beach? Yeah, on the beach. Yes, I'm a beach girl. Okay. And my nationality is Cuban-Dominican. Cuban-Dominican. Oh, so she's dangerous, Mozzie? <laughs> yeah, she, she's a dangerous one. Just like, a little bit. So so, so talk about the business. What business did you say that she has? Uh, Farm Rentals, 305. That's right. Plug it. Yeah. Jet skis, right? Yeah. Jet skis, slingshots. It. Okay. Boats. We were boats. doing boat rentals. Did as you say well. helicopter? Was that? Yeah, son. <laughs> Yo, so yeah. everyone coming to Miami, he got helicopters to rent out. Um, Not, nigga, one. <laughs> <laughs> Singular. He's got one helicopter. You know what I mean? And y'all got to put the gas in that shit. Yo. <laughs> And Rose, what 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 talk about to talk about your hustle? How you get to the bag? I've been bartending. I've been bottle service. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got the door lounge going on right now, which is going to be our own lounge. Mm-hmm. We've got it's going to be a hookah lounge. We do the seafood boils. It's going to be a mm-hmm. real chill vibe. 
restaurants hustling yeah it's been restaurants fine dining bars high volume so let's let's get to the um to, to the interesting dynamic i've known both two out of the three of you guys for a minute and for the people that are listening my brother mazi rose and step they're in a, a polyamorous relationship yeah i don't know if you know the exact definition and, and you know clear things some things up for the people like what exactly does that mean you know what I mean? break it break it down to them for me Oh, we could yeah. look up. We could look up the definition. Hey, go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Because there's a dictionary. bunch of different words, right? Like that. Like yeah. let's see, poly, yeah, uh, like polygamy. Many, several. Uh, okay, uh, is the practice or desire or intimate relation with more than one partner right. with informed consent, consent of all partners involved. Have you always lived like this, or like have you always been in a polyamorous relationship? Nah, or? man. I wanted to mm -hmm. at least. A threesome or something, you yeah. Know, which is every guy's dream or whatever. But right. I never did it because of the respect I had for the woman I may have been with at the time, mm -hmm. because they may not have been bisexual. Mm -hmm. I found out later that if you have a bisexual woman, mm -hmm. it's more suitable. Okay, you it's easier to from? manage. It's, yeah. Okay. Or somebody who's not, remember, girls are very selfish, territorial, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be wanting no other bitch around they nigga and this and that, bro. Mm -hmm. So I, I get it. But at the end of the day, even when you don't want that and you pick a guy, because they already think I'm a hoe, I'm this, I'm that, but I'm right. the complete opposite. You feel mm -hmm. me? And they don't need to know that because I never let them into that life. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, when you still look at it, it's kind of like they see it as, they see it as, they need to. <laughs> yeah. Why y'all looking at me like? <laughs> <laughs> we listen. Nah, he's dropping game. You dropping game. Yeah. What they started. What, what ends up happening is that they look at it from a different standpoint. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not the standpoint that we see it. We're as, like a as team, y'all, because y'all look at it like y'all a team, a right? Team. Uh, yeah. Yes. It didn't right. come like that. Yeah. It did not. Trust me. No. Yeah. So this is something that. So this is something that you. <laughs> this is something that you started as well, right? Like you, you started it. And, and was, did you figured it out as you went? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm beyond smart. I'm beyond smart. A lot of people don't know that shit. I'm okay. Beyond. But a lot of people that follow me do know that. Mm -hmm. You know. But I had to be a real. I had to be real about it. Yeah. I was. It, it was. It's, it was not just two of us. Mm -hmm. It was three of us. It mm -hmm. was four of us and all. Mm -hmm. We had another girl too, Jen. You feel mm -hmm. me? And we. I dated every, all of them individually, mm -hmm. not together, but individually. Right. For like for years or. Somewhat like that. So I, I think about all the time, like if I could introduce all my exes to each other and everybody could just play nice. I don't that so, yo, I, yo, that so, might not go right. How, so Papu. Rose, talk to me. Like, Listen, how, that's not going to go right, Papu. So how does it work? Like, how does... How does I you, think it worked for me because I dated all of them individually. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't no... When they find out who I was and how I am as a man and a person and mm -hmm. a, a human being overall, mm -hmm. it became a different dynamic. Yeah, this nigga got swag and shit, mm -hmm. but he's a good dude. Right. So that came up to the big, and then on the father level, it was a whole different scenario. Gotcha. Like he's checking the boxes and shit. Mm. So what ended up happening is that they always think it's, it's just just too good to be true. So mm. some shit always fucking happened to me, always. Mm -hmm. But I don't retaliate. I never like none of my exes. I ever sat there and like, yo, you did this shit to me. All right, bitch, I'm finna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So how do you unite everybody and make everybody cool with each other? <clears throat> well, I didn't. What happened was. Uh, I broke up with all of them. Truthfully, I, I broke up with all of them. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I, it was like, get right. Like, I'm putting a lot of effort into this shit. This is individually before it became a poly. Mm -hmm. And they just, you know, certain things. I, I got expectations, man. Mm -hmm. And it got to be, you got to reach those. You mm -hmm. just can't sit here because one year is, is going to implement what's going to happen the next year. Gotcha. If you sit there and waste time, you're going to mm -hmm. be behind. Gotcha. I'm not trying to fall back. Gotcha. So what ended up happening, if it wasn't working, I stick in there as long as I fucking could, bro. I'm going to stick in there, I'm going to ride to mm -hmm. shit, the rims break, god mm -hmm. damn it, still try to push. Mm -hmm. And if I just don't see no effort, they're not, they're not trying, fuck it, man. I'm got you. Got so you. I left, I left, I left. But well, Rose, I ain't really want to leave, but she was fucking up all my shit. Mm. I'm a Libra, so I'm Listen, very materialistic. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Listen. So look, wait, okay, so yo. And it's that one trigger. I'm that one trigger. It could have been anything else. Yeah. But that one that one trigger I had to hit continuously. Mm. So this is your first polyamorous relationship? Yes. Okay, so how did you 
Talk about Mazi and, and I'm, I hear great things about him. Talk about him. Can you big him up a little listen, bit? Like, what are one, his qualities? This is one of the most exceptional human beings that I have met, just like all across the board. I don't even mean to brag, but in the mm-hmm. sense that he's smart, good looking, well rounded, can speak professional, can speak in the street, can speak as a man, mm. can speak as a father, can speak as a husband. Mm. And I have not found that in many men. <laughs> a lot of women wouldn't like be cool with that. You know what I'm saying? With the dynamic of. Because they're but a lot, but you guys, yeah, you guys are thinking about it as like a team like it you'd rather have a two-person team or a three-person team that makes you stronger it exactly so when you have there's more power in numbers but the thing is that you have to have the same mentality mm-hmm. that's the hard part yeah. now the only reason that came about is because he was able to put her and i on the same page to see eye to eye yeah. that is the rarity who can yeah. do that right yeah. half of the time i can't get along with my friends my brother my mom my sister my cousin whatever right. the fuck it is because it's just we can't see eye to eye we're yeah. different and what's dope is that both of y'all run businesses yeah. Yeah. Like y'all, y'all literally are a team. Like this is not Him. just a play. Yeah. yeah, he was able to under help get into our mind to make us mm-hmm. understand who we are to be able to bring that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but as a friend, as a mm-hmm. lover, and not to help somebody bring who you are out, like in reality, you can't ask for something more from a person. Right. Yeah. Right, like it's, he 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 simple. he makes you the best you. Correct, and then right. he brings us together, and then we complement each other. That's right. amazing. Right, yeah. that's dope. Steph, is this your first polyamorous relationship? Yes, it is. That's dope. So, how did you, you know, you know, come to terms with it, and and do you think about it the same way? Like y'all are a team, right? Exactly. Yes, definitely. See, he he asked me about it mm-hmm. prior in our relationship, and I wasn't. Okay mm-hmm. with it, like any other. No, no, no I wasn't. I, I didn't ask you. Can I have a poly? No, now can you have a poly? But he you and know. be clear, like you're you're Cuban and Dominican. <clears throat> like this doesn't you? Cuban and Dominican. This doesn't exist. Like you can't. This is like <laughs> Mazi. This is like a diamond in the rough, right? Latina. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he gave us the ultimatum. He was honest with us. He's like, hey, look, you know. I want to work things out with you and Rose and see how we can put everything together and gave us the game plan, basically. Mm-hmm. And when I met Rose and we all sat down and spoke together, it was just, it, it automatically connected. Chemistry, yeah, like the chemistry, chemistry. doesn't lie, mm-hmm. right? That's dope. That's dope. It was it was off in the beginning. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was, it was. It's something it was, you got to work on, you know what I mean? We right, Cuban. Right, right, We right. Cuban. Yeah, you know, we're Latina. Period. Yeah, you gotta remember too. Every woman, they're not trying to share no fucking man, bro. They always they, yeah. they selfish and they got this own little traditional thing. That's cool. I don't knock nobody beliefs or religion. I never will. That's be stupid on my behalf. Right. If they doing it, that's on them. Right. I don't care. Yeah. You feel me? I never gave a. I never cared about what somebody else think. Right. I always stuck in my own lane. That's why I've been going so far. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Without traffic. Mm. So I feel like at the end of the day, when I did present it. It was after the fact. The look, if y'all love me so much, whatever the case may be, I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat on them, bro. Right. I didn't fuck off, do none of that shit. But right. I was labeled and said like, "Oh, he got all the bitches. Look right. at him. He too. Da 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 da." Right. It's like, society talking. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, I, we behind closed doors, and, and that still seeped in our own relationship. Mm-hmm. Now I remain solid at the end of the day, but it's 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 tough. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. tough to remain like that as a dude. You know the temptations that Hell we yeah. get, bro. Hell you know, yeah. It's a I lot. feel like it, once that door of temptation is closed for men, Man, it's easy, bro. It's easy to focus yeah. on what matters in life. Yeah, you bro. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. I, that, yeah. Ladies, can you speak to um your guys' chemistry, like between both of y'all? Shit. Like, Shit. like, yeah. video. No, no, nah, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rose, like, yo, Mazi, hold on. Rose, Mazi, were you with Rose before Steph? And then she was with Steph first. That's the mother of my child. That's the mother of my child. Oh, okay, that's okay, though. So that make it even more crazy. Okay, so Steph, so maybe this question is for you. What it, talk about your chemistry between both of y'all? Okay, so what do you like about you Rose? I started everything. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rose, she's a dope person. Her personality, you know, she was mm-hmm. very cool from the get that we met. You mm-hmm. know, we clicked. Besides our drama that we've had. Like, you if you take mean? Mozzie out of it, y'all two have chemistry, oh, right? Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. She's dope. very understanding, you know. Yeah, they got chemistry. Bitch, when yeah. I walked in the high, there was a footprint on the wall. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at my balcony. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I'm a condo. Like, okay, shit, fine. I'm coming in the highs and shit. Yeah. And everybody got the, the, the walk of shame on their face. But, bitch, y'all still in the bed. <laughs> Damn. So, I look. I'm looking. I looked around. 
I'm like, damn, what the fuck the footprint doing on the fucking wall? <laughs> it wasn't just like on the wall, bitch. It's like high on the wall, bro. Like, like, I think I'm we like, got a picture. Hey, Don't you have a picture? Oh, <laughs> man. Casey, look, I tell you, bro. I was like, wait, what the no. fuck going on, bro? <laughs> yeah. Hold That's up. That's crazy. And then, how y'all not fuck without me? Yeah. <laughs> So how did, is that is that how it worked? Was that the first <laughs> no, like they were hooking up and then see, like before it was a th threesome? It was them two hooking up and y'all. Well, I were... was I was with somebody yeah, else. I was with him. Jen. You feel me? It uh -huh. was just me and Jen. So uh -huh. what ended up happening is that I I, I didn't I told them I, what I did on on he my behalf. What they probably don't understand or know what I did is put them together. Mm -hmm. Rose tried to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? She's mm -hmm. a little smart little motherfucker, mm -hmm. but she didn't understand it because I'm still like ghost with it. Right. You feel me? You, you, right. You're, I'm, I'm a test your mental. Mm -hmm. so, so I had them together mm -hmm. doing certain shit and all type of shit like that. So let's see. If yeah. You know, I, yeah, I didn't tell them what, what was going on. I didn't even know myself what was going to go on. But right. I had them go together. They went to the goddamn Georgia. Went to Atlanta. Went to Orlando. Yeah, Bush Gardens. Did a you few have things. to get to know somebody before you sit there and start judging them and shit. That's, yeah. that's the crazy part. Like, you don't know who, you don't know this dude from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. You want to sit here and judge this man. I ain't never been that type of dude. You mm -hmm. feel me? I'm going to get to know you. I'm going to talk to you. You judging me, that's your business. Right. But me personally, I'm going to say, what's up? I'm going to initiate it. That's how I feel. Right. You feel me? And they was just they was they was cooling it, but I was still with somebody else. Mm. I was with somebody else. I was in a relationship with her, but I had just met her, so it wasn't like too too serious. Mm -hmm. And then what ended up happening is, is that they was clicking so good. I was chilling with her one time, coming from the little jet ski thing. We had ran out some jet skis to somebody, and I was chilling in the bed, and then. Man, I got a video, man. <laughs> yo, yo, plug the OnlyFans while we're yo, here. Plug yo, it. Plug yo, it's it. Ghost, man. G H X S I I. It's in the bio. Mm, multiple man. streams. Mine's is Dream 99. Oh. Hey, bro, you, you want to plug yours? You got yours? Queen Rose. Queen Rose. <laughs> and you got to sign up to all three to get all three perspectives, yeah, right? Man. Yes, you do. So, my, crazy. so yo, Mazi, tell me, like, I, a lot of men are here, like, listening, like, dog, how do you get to a point where you could have two women on the same page and, and everybody has chemistry and everybody three. plays nice? Can you talk about, like, the type of man that this takes for you to be able to do huh. this? You know what I mean? Bro, it was three. Three of them. I started out with three, and I don't recommend that. Bro. No, and we even had a fourth. Don't forget. Oh, we shit. We had a fourth. Yeah. What are you talking about? We even had a fourth. Uh, so, okay, so maybe y'all can answer this. Steph, what do you think, what, what type of man can can do this? Like, you know what I mean? It like, takes a very, very patient, strong-minded man okay. to be able to even, imagine men can't even deal with one. Right. Imagine having two two different personalities, right. two PMS things, two different mm. attitudes. Y'all mental cycles are synced up, right? Man, I'm no. just I don't know all of them. All of them. Hey, I used to know all of them. I knew the dates. You had them in your phone like, like a like a like a alarm. Like yeah, nah, I had a hill. We were like a week blame. apart. We were all like a week apart. Nah, all that shit changed. <laughs> and then we so wait, you gotta hold up, Mazi. You gotta deal with. Three different menstrual cycles? I had, yes. Yeah, bro. He yeah, does. That's bruh. the point. He yeah, doesn't understand. Bruh. As much as you may not think just, it's fun. Wait, wait, wait. Not me, just... I got you. Not just that. Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, not just that. Imagine, you know, men too. Sex drive. Sex drive. Stamina. Right. Like, These motherfuckers... So, yo, ladies, talk, tell me. Mozzie holds it down, right? What? That nigga could go 50 what? rounds if you like. <laughs> yo. In his mic. What? Multi Maybe hold it down. Yo. Maybe hold it down. Yeah. Imagine yeah. one is on Dang. top. So yep. both of y'all, your both both of y'all always are getting yours. Both of y'all always get yours. I know I get mine. We get yes. ours. What does a man have to do to be able to do this? Like, how do you make this work? How do you connect two women together? Because I would assume that, just like you said, you got to make sure they have chemistry first, right? And then you kind of just like add on, like you get you got them together first. Because all the threesomes that I've had, I just. Get the girls to get the chemistry first, and then you kind of just like hop in that, like while they're vibing. Uh, that's two different things. Okay. A threesome and a poly relationship. Okay. Okay. That's two different things. That's okay. where a lot of dudes get it screwed. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you free game right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you are trying to do it, don't. Don't. Yeah. Why? Because it's a rich man sport. That's one. You said it's a rich man's sport. I said it's a rich man's sport. Okay. That's real. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you got to... You got to go from 
forty sixty to two one fifty two hundred two fifty. Just cause, just cause. Your meals go up, bro. Like yeah. that. That's daily. You know, we eat out nice ass restaurants and stuff like that. Trips, everything mm-hmm. is double. I don't Trip mean like I don't mean like oh well you like like a dude broke. No, I, I, I never talk like that. I never talk down on nobody else. Mm-hmm. When I say don't, is because it's something that y'all y'all people. And y'all it's a bill. It's an expensive what, bill. Well, what, what, what it is, people just think it's about fucking. They think, oh, well, you got two girls. I know you be going ham and shit, but... It's part of it, but, like, the other part of it is holding your weight. Not even. Not the way I see it. Mm-hmm. You see, my mindset is different. The way I put it is, like, at the end of the day, I'm not finna sit here and just be thinking about pussy all the time. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. that don't uh, turn me on. Yeah. You're not gonna sit here and think that you because you're naked or something. No. Accomplishment, goals, achieving your goals. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Understanding. And all type of shit like that is something that'll take me to a whole different level. Yeah. That's a different level. And I don't like fucking that at home. I like scenery. Fucking on an yeah, island on a balcony. Is scenery. Ah. Scenery is everything for him. Like, yeah. Where's yes. the craziest place y'all had sex? Driving, to you. Driving on the highway. Like just on, in, 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 in Miami? The ca- in the car. In the, on the highway while he's driving. Like oh. about to die type of thing. Wow. He told me, hey babe, jump on. Hop on. Hop on. That's what's up. What? So it's exciting. Like that right there, it was it was the adrenaline, mm-hmm. and then imagine I'm on. Imagine you're trying to control. You know, mm-hmm. you're 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 yeah. having sex and yeah. it's feeling so good, and you're you're. You gotta think about. You gotta it. think about yeah. the cars and if you're gonna crash. <laughs> yeah. Yo, were you in the emer- Were you in the the express lane? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, cause yo, you those little orange cones on the express lane. To me, like yo, don't ride me until we're in the regular lane. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Imagine you're about a bus and you're yeah, driving, and then you hear the do 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 do. You hit that shit real quick, like yo, my fucking my wait, 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 my mirror just came off. <laughs> to me, that was the craziest, like yo. adrenaline. Yeah, and that's what's up, yo. Okay, see, I was about to die in that bit, bro. Yeah. I was about to die. Because she catching a nut. No, and I wasn't even a nut. It was an orgasm. Yeah. So it, Full body. Be look. clear, ladies. Talk, there's a difference between between like the, the, the regular nut coming with your clit and like a real, real orgasm, right? And your whole body's just... Trembling. Leave that shit trembling. Shock. 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 Like you're going into shock. Elbows, lock knees, lock everything. Yeah. Lock, 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 lock. That's what's up. So, yo, what can y'all... Okay, what's the, the craziest sex moment to you from y'all three? Like that you could remember. What's your best memory? And I'm going to go through each about it and let's see if they match up. Mm, well, all three. Hmm. Maybe when it was for Father's Day when the Eden Rock. Eden we Rock and a, Father's Day. We lit. had an amazing view. Mm-hmm. Like the bed was right in front of the balcony mm. with the water. The, mm-hmm. Like the whole windows were open. Yeah, wow. Imagine up. the balcony was just. All open. All you hear is the ocean. The ocean is like right in your face. Hi, paint that picture. You killing it. Oh man, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Just speaking about it, I'm yeah. already like. And Rose, what, 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 <laughs> like, what, what is your favorite memory? Either Eden Rock, either Eden Rock, or the first time. Eden the Rock. First or- time. Okay. I'm sorry, but the intensity when you first meet somebody and you get to like really learn them and you watch them and when you're they're nervous, curious about them because you, you don't just know watch them because they're just in that moment. Yeah. And seeing the nervousness in him and seeing her not knowing, but the eagerness was yeah. everything. That- I have been listen. I have never been with a woman before her. Yeah. Nor have I been oh, with a so, man so that th- has ever been with a that's woman with two. So this is I'm your the first fresh one. That's your first. Correct. This is the first woman I've ever touched. As as emperor curiosity first or anything, uh-huh. listen. So you, yo, props to you because you made her super comfortable for this yeah, to work. Yeah, because so I don't. Yo, I we got to give you a lot of props. Men, yeah. like no, it's a no, it's a skirt. But yeah. that it's, it takes something special, like something mm-hmm. exceptional, for me to actually really like feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she right. was comfortable, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that footprint on the fucking and wall, Mazi, <laughs> Mazi, what what's your um what's your memory that you can remember? I got a lot of them. You got a lot of them? Yeah, I do. And we still got a lot more. So Mazi, talk to me, dog. I got a question. Cause I've had, you know, Shoot. I've had I, I told three and a half threesomes. 
in my life. Wait, what? Three and a half? I say half. It was a midget. It was a half. <laughs> <laughs> you fought a midget. <laughs> For real? No, 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 not a midget. Relax. <laughs> like, I, yo, is that even what? offensive? And I don't even know if that's offensive in 20. But listen, I say it. <laughs> <laughs> yo! <laughs> now, nah, Mozzie, yo. Let me tell you, it was it was it was a summer night in 2007. That Listen, like a scary story. <laughs> <laughs> that one night at Vegas. Nah, nah, summer it wasn't night. a break. Deep in well, the woods. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, a midget popped out. <laughs> Yo, Mazi, one of my listen, uh, one of my threesomes was brick, but that was the full that was a full threesome. Oh. My half threesome, listen, my half was from brick, but my half threesome was the thing is my my girl wanted to do it for me, and she didn't really like girls. Is that she tried to do it for me, and what happened was as soon as the girl tried to eat her pussy, my ex was like, "No, chill, she relax," like and That's she didn't a, like it. I so I got I my I, I look I got my dick sucked by both of them, but I look at it as a half a threesome. I don't count it as a whole. Oh, okay. That's not even a threesome. That's brother. not even. You didn't even get to. You didn't even get to to do anything. That's, you got that's, that's, that's 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 nothing. She just. Damn, so I you should have just put it on in the both? side, to be honest. Nah. Oh, I, that I, ain't no threesome. Damn. No, but if, if I got my dick sucked by both, it can't be a half a threesome? Nah. No, bro. That's nah. like... Damn. Nah. nah, bro. Okay, nah. so then I had three threesomes in my life. Like I, I said, man. I'm y'all could you, tell me because... The uh, OnlyFans, crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah? You want to know what a threesome <laughs> is, bro? Yeah? I'll right. show you. That <laughs> <laughs> ass. That's what's up. But that's just like, like I said, like... Going back to that topic, bro, on some real shit, like, you, you, the girls got to be bisexual. I recommend, like, I'm not I believe saying, that. like, I agree I, with that. And I'm not saying, like, oh, well, women can't, well, why is it him with, with two, with two, three girls? Nah, bitch, it's her with three girls and a guy, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just put it on the guy all the time because that's right. just how women are. The ones who are selfish or, or want to just go against some shit. Right. So they have an open mind. Right. And I, and I never like re- reply to them because right. it's pointless. It's right. almost like arguing about Christianity and ca- and Catholic. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to go through that. Yeah. I'm, I'm a lot, my life is good. Yeah. So I'm going to keep being positive and keep trucking. I recommend to give any free gain to somebody is have somebody who's bisexual. Make sure they bisexual. I say that all the time because... And, and women think, yo, well, like when, whenever I've like, you know, wanted a threesome, they're like, yo, you just want to fuck another bitch. Nah, I like a threesome because I get turned on when y'all two hook up. It's not for right. me to fuck another bitch. I want to see y'all have chemistry. But That's see, the shit that I like. But see, where, the, where you fuck up at, you get in straight girls. Okay. It's not going to happen. So yeah. now you're trying to change somebody's whole mindset. Gotcha. You see, the, the other girl I was with, Jen, she was gay too. She was gay. Mm-hmm. But she said that was she was not exactly. So, so how does so I wasn't with them. Gotcha. I had broke up with them. I was only with Jen. Gotcha. You get where I'm coming from? Gotcha. And she was gay. So we was already thinking about it. But then gotcha. she wasn't doing what I needed her to do. So I had broke up with her too. Gotcha. You get where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like, okay, if they get right, I'm gonna implement everybody and see what's up and see where mm-hmm. we can go. Why how, we, how we could build the team? Of me and get sitting to... here, fucking her, lying to her, lying to my baby mama, then come back, fucking rose, and just doing some some sucker shit. Yeah, you feel me? I, I was real about it. I saw everybody down in the same house, same room, same time, and we and we chopped it up. And ladies, okay, that's five ladies. I wanted to ask you a question. How does it feel? Because a lot of women are in relationships and they're constantly worrying about their man creeping, like cheating. Yeah. For me, <laughs> listen. For me, deception is the only felony. Deception is the only crime that you could commit. You know, so. Y'all don't have to worry about him cheating on y'all because he it's a team thing, right? So y'all don't even have to worry. Y'all don't have the stress that most women have of, oh my God, is my man creeping, sending his text? Because I'm sure it's open between all of y'all, right? Yes. And no. And no. Okay. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes okay. and no. <clears throat> we go through regular problems just like a regular relationship okay. would. But on the thing about it, we triple, double, and quadruple our money. Uh, things we do and we get there faster than most other people would doing your one-on-one shit. Gotcha. Bitch, that, you feel me? So that, that's going to make up for a lot of shit. All right? The second thing about that, all the women going to have the securities even if they are bisexual. It's going to happen. Gotcha. You feel me? I had to prove myself still to this day that I've been good. That, but that's why I keep getting blessed as well. Mm. And then things keep happening to them. And that's a whole nother topic, bro. Because, I, but yeah, like you told me before, Mazi. Both of their lives have leveled up. They've yeah. elevated. Yeah. yeah. So but she got way fucking better, bro. I never like give her her props because uh, all the 
stuff she had done to mm-hmm. me in the past. You feel me? But to them, I always speak. Even Rose had did some fucked up shit to me. Right. And at the end of the day, when we was to bring it up, I don't knock her about it. You go through your highs and lows like any other relationship. Yeah, I don't knock her about it. I, it's a lot. Of, I'm more encouraged. I speak good about it. certain situations. We were just talking about this to somebody. I speak good about it, even what she did to me. You feel me? And, but everybody else would have thought it was me. Exactly. It was me. It's the guy. The guys ain't shit. The guy this, the guy that. That's just some miserable ass bitch who just can't pick him. Mm-hmm. Or it's just maybe it's you. So you finally look in the fucking mirror and be like, damn, man, you know, I'm a fucked up individual. You know, I don't got to. Why? You keep. Me, my, my main thing, don't let me pay for the next man mistake. Bitch, I ain't hurt you. Yeah. You coming into this relationship like I done did this and did that. And if something is similar, I'm still a man. A lot I'm of a women guy. a lot of women come into their new relationship hurt with the feelings from their last relationship. Yeah, fuck you up, bro. That's why the other one not here. She did too, but I didn't know that. Right. You feel me? And I would have handled it differently, but I didn't. And then she was jealous. She was jealous. Mm-hmm. Rose was kind of like finding out different information that in her head, I she was like, we're going to make it work, but... I was just like, yeah, it was, this. So it was a lot that happened in the beginning, too. Everything just went down with peaches and cream. Yeah. Only the strongest going to survive. That's how I feel. Yeah. You feel me? And, Dope. man, like... Well, is there any rules that, that you ladies put on the relationship? Like, how, how do you make this work? How do you manage it? I mean, we don't have no rules. Everything here is about being honest with each other mm. up front. I mean, our poly relationship is just us, you mm. know. It's not like I can go and step uh, out. It's open. not an open relationship. Right, right. I can't just go <laughs> and step out and mess with this girl and that girl or that guy. No. Right. This is us, us three or and whoever else we were to bring into our relationship. We're, we're, we're not looking for anything that's short term. Gotcha. You know, we're looking for long term. To build we're a team, We're building an empire. We want to build an empire, you know. We... Each of us have our own businesses and and move forward that mm-hmm. kind of lifestyle. Yeah. It's not just only about sex. sex. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And a lot of people think that it's all, but that's that's their main question. Yeah, right. Like when we go live and stuff, that's their main question. Like, oh, the sex and how do you do this and do you just yeah. it, it goes on and on and on instead of asking like questions like so. What are you guys planning for the future? You know, your kids, this. It's, mm-hmm. it, people think it's about sex, and, and it's not. Sex, it, it, it plays a role, but it's not and number y'all are, one. Y'all are focusing on building businesses. So what that does, I, I would imagine, is it builds the sexual tension. With all of y'all hustling, it builds it up for it to be more of an explosion, right? I yes, can say that definitely. too. Yeah, I definitely can say that. Yeah. But yeah. What, what, where I'm at, where we are at now, at this point, I think it's more or less of trying to... Uh, Get them to understand that work ethic. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I don't care to be fucking in Miami no more. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck in Dubai, out in yeah. Dubai and mm. shit Maldives. like that. Yeah. One of those, Ewan. one of those underground hotels what? where the, where the fish are like. We, that. Already, we was just talking we are, about that's, that's already, man, <laughs> that's already. Look, We already got flights booked. Mm. We had them booked in, before coronavirus. They fucked up a lot of shit. Yeah, this year, we would have took off. Man, take wow. off. We had I'm DR. Right now, we had gone. Listen. I had a lot of shit planned. This shit right here, I was not planned. But the coronavirus ain't stopped shit with me, really. It yeah. slowed it down, but I, you know, I still, I still got it. So it didn't, <laughs> it didn't, it didn't hurt. But to imagine if I had all the incomes from them too, right? It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, you feel me? So it was, <sighs> sheesh, man. Just it's cor- about this shit it, is fucking up a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, but, but. That's what's the, I mean, yeah. business everywhere was getting so. Good. So, Mazi, Mazi, it's important to like for someone who wants to do this. It's important to find women who are about their business, who are about the hustle, who got the grind in them. Uh, Not just that. Okay. Like the women have to be open minded as well yeah. and very understanding. Yeah. You know? I, and I, I can't say that in the beginning I was very understanding. You were but, not. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. But, you know, but you, you, you can build that. You know, if you're strong minded, right, you know, or and open minded, right, as well. Because yeah. if you're closed minded, you know, things are just gonna start falling apart or not. I mean, being closed minded is gonna limit you in it's any, gonna anything limit in life, you in anything, yeah. exactly. So, okay, exactly. that's what's up. That's well, what's you, up. You know, people say that them just getting it one on one and shit, they feel like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm gonna do it regardless. I get there at some point. Well, you take forever to get there, that's, yeah. that's on you, that's your decision. Don't knock our. Relationship right. of what we have going on, mm-hmm. right? Because it's obviously working. You guys yeah. are progressing in life. Yeah. You guys are 
living the time of your life. Yeah. You and then, and then for the girls though, I, I I think it's more or less better for the girls to be in a poly relationship due to the fact I say this, when you <laughs> every time they try to go out. And you always call up your friend and say, yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready. And when it's time to be ready, the bitch ain't say, nah, you know, I'm going to just go. Or I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Or Or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. What? Your sister wife can't say that. That bitch right there in the house with you. She gonna grill so oh, so there's like that's up. interesting. So there's like an accountability. Like y'all hold each other to like yeah, an accountability. So if you want to go out? That's your girl. You gonna go out? That's like that's just like your dude. Hey, yeah. I want to go to Puerto Rico tomorrow, babe. We out. So y'all yeah, can go. Out, babe. You gotta go by yourself. And if <laughs> I can't go, go, I'm gonna stay and run the businesses and make money and send them money while they go have their fun. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're not losing or missing out on life or opportunities. But see the way, however, somebody else think is their business. That's their prerogative. But the way I see it, the way I implemented and told them, you feel me? Like. Look, once they knew who I who I was and who I am, mm-hmm. that became a different ball game. Mm. And now it's like, yo, this ain't for me. Yeah, I'm not doing this to be fucking y'all. Cause truthfully, I need, I could have I could have all of them separate fucking them, right or wrong. Facts. Like you could have did the creep we shit. Could've I could have did it, like, bro. You, you what most guys are and be, be exactly. creeping around. Yeah, and but I y'all decided it. to like, yo, let's build a team. Let's build a future for ourselves. Yeah. And I, I pitched it to him. I was like, look, this and this, and you know, it take you know, very. Open minded. I would say open minded, uh-huh. but I really think like the gay shit play a part. Mm-hmm. Like even if women, like I was just talking to this other girl, um, Christina Monroe, she verified on Instagram too, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? She was like, I want a husband and a boyfriend. Speaking on the Jada and um A husband and a boyfriend. A husband and a boyfriend. This is what she was saying. Uh-huh. But I was like, damn, you know, I don't think it'll work. Mm-hmm. The reason I don't think it'll work, one is because I think the guys need to be gay to do that. Oh yeah, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. You dealing, yeah, you dealing with two alpha males or two males in general. It's not gonna, you feel me? Yeah. It's not gonna work for them. But yeah. if the guys are gay, you want that's a different story, right? Shit. You can go a long way like that, right? But having just two straight guys, nah, bro. Yeah, no, nah. it won't, it won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just male egos clashing. That's the that. biggest thing yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. and the territorial males are territorial. I don't care what. Look, I don't. Whatever male you are, at one point or another, it's in your DNA. You guys are territorial. It's instinctual. Mm-hmm. If it's yours, it's yours. And when you feel like that, you will claim it as such. Mm-hmm. Period. End. You imagine mm-hmm. having two males trying to claim the same things on you, yeah. unless they come eye to eye and say, "All right, we're gonna have her do this together." Right. It's not gonna happen. Like I've had, yo, I've had women like, yo, bring another girl into the relationship. Should be like, yo, do you want me to bring another guy in the relationship? How would you feel? Ah, uh, bro, and I've been like, let me tell you, bro, like look, 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 let me uh, listen. Okay, strike one. I already told you that shit don't work with no straight girls. The exactly. first thing they're gonna say to you, and then y'all gonna get into this and that. Next time, say yeah. But Mazi, she wasn't straight. You know what I'm saying? So you made her. See, pause, pause. I mean, she wasn't gay. Listen. I was not. Uh huh. So how did it I work? I had curiosity. That I was attracted. Oh. I always found women beautiful. Mm-hmm. But she was the reason why I was able to feel comfortable, and that to me personally Got you. was a. That was the reason. Yo, my- he, listen, but it wouldn't Steph, have never happened. I know. Listen, no man, no man ever made me feel comfortable to the point where I felt like I wanted to give it to them. The other ones, it felt like you was trying me. Mm. Yeah. You're tripping. Mm. Like, no, I don't want to give you shit. You didn't give me nothing for me to give. Be nice to you for what the fuck am I doing yeah, this? Yeah, me and Rose had our rodeo. You feel me? We had a good. <laughs> Yeah. Our relationship we, was good. Uh, you feel me? Everything we and I know my baby mama. So if it was to be anything, I know because I probably wouldn't have did it to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just that's just the truth. What I do is look. What I do is if I have a female and I want to see if she likes girls and I want to really know if she likes girls, this is my test. This is what I do. Oh, this I is see. important to me, right? I take her to the strip club, right? Nah. And I go listen to me, yo, Mazi, Mazi. I know you're the professional. You're the LeBron of this shit. But let me just tell you from an amateur what I do, bro. I go, yo. We go to the strip club. I say, yo, find a girl that you like. I'm going to buy you a lap dance. And she goes, okay, that girl. I'm like, bet. So now we go into the room. And I tell the stripper, as we're walking up to the room, I whisper into her ear. I be like, yo, I'm giving you this extra $50. I'm, I'm slipping you a $50. I, this is what I need you to do. I need you to kiss my girl on the neck. Listen, I tell the stripper, yo, kiss my girl on the neck. Go ahead. She goes, okay, I got you. So now she gets on my girl on the lap dance on the couch. They start doing the lap dance. I'm in the corner just chilling, watching them. And the girl starts to kiss my girl on the neck. Now your girl's going to do one of two things. She's going to do A, she's going to move real quick and be like, yo. <laughs> she's going to she's gonna go, yo, what's this? Boom. And she's going to go like that. Or number two, she's going to do this. She's going to go, she's going to go, 
uh, and do like a little, like a quick little, like a quick little moan with it, and she's gonna accept it. Mozzie, listen, that's my test. That's my Why test. Are you talking this too many times? Yeah. Casey, yo, yo, Casey, yo, Mozzie, how do you know if a girl really likes girls though? I ain't, ain't doing front. that because I ain't finna lose no money. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up. I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur. Oh, don't be losing no money being no amateur. Fuck that, bro. You got fifty dollars. That's Mazi, a, that shit. For the up. test, that shit add up, bro. I think I think a Corona test costs more. I, you know what I mean? Like we're just doing fifty. <laughs> First of all, I put my finger out on you on that one. Yo, when it comes down to the whole stripper thing, like I ain't spend no money on no strip unless you follow me or some shit. And oh, I don't do the strip club. I, you, I you, hate the strip club because it's a me? tease. Real men, you go in there, you gonna tease me and leave, and I'm gonna spend money. I feel like a sucker. I'm not doing that. Yeah, like, well, I mean, but that's part of the game, though. You feel me? I, I respect they hustle. Don't get me wrong. I, I respect oh, that's they fact. hustle yeah, and facts. I respect the shit they do. However, I'm just the type of guy like you hustling. You know I'm hustling too. Don't just sit here and like hustle me out. At yeah. the end of the day, I'm a hustler too. It don't yeah. work like that. You yeah. fucking with somebody who get it out the mud. Mm. I ain't no scammer. I get the shit out the mud. So mm. it's a difference in those type of dudes. Mm. So a scammer gonna just throw all his money, have all the bitches flocking to him, or whatever, whatever, whatever. But when it comes down to getting it out the mud. Those mm. dudes walk a little different. Mm. So you're not gonna just be throwing money on you like that. You better be following me, interacting me. You better have some shit going for yourself. I'm gonna support your shit. You just a full blown hoe. Like, mm. I can't do shit with mm. you, little yeah. bitch. So, I'm Ma- sorry. <laughs> Mazi, how, what is your mind state like? Because, you know, and you're an entrepreneur, you wrote a book, which is super commendable. I wanna give you your props on that. You have multiple businesses. What, what can you say, you know? To future entrepreneurs, or what type of mind state do you have to have to be able to to do this? You know what I mean. To- My book tell you about it. It's called Taking the Plunge. Plug it. What is the book? It's, Where could they get it? Um, Barnes and Noble. Just type in Mazea Legend Andrews. It's my first, middle, and last name. Um, it'll come right up. It'll pop up. You can get it from Amazon or Barnes and Noble, or the link in my bio. Okay. The link is in my bio. The well, website. Well, Ashley, so what is your wait, Ashley? The uh, oh, on the fans. <laughs> you took it okay, off. yo, he he took off his book <laughs> well, to put the only fans. No, no, yo, no, I get no, it. Yo, no, listen, no, I get no, it. No, no, no. No, shit. He no. be switching it up. Yeah, yeah, switch yeah. it, switch it. I feel yeah, switch he be switching it, 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 it up. If I post a book in the story, you got swipe look, up. You got to get the one link. You know what that is? It's the, a link. The they link, click it and then it has mad links. You can go to my book, my bio, my book, my porn. You can go to whatever you want. That shit didn't help my page get. But like, I'm getting verified. Like, I had a, I got screenshot and everything mm. so that's not going to help me get verified so you mm. got to be published you got to be spoken about talked about if you want to be verified mm. and instagram go by your publications when you google mm-hmm. you feel me when Facts. that's what they no, go trust by trust me i'm going the link the, in the, the link in the bio is not going to help i'm close to getting verified too bro i'm this yeah. close so you're right you got to be googleable yep as soon as they google you you yep. got to have a bunch of shit you know yep. i got i got articles from the sun sentinel miami herald you know what i mean but yep. you got to get more national shit yep. you yeah. can get the local shit but you got to get national shit and that's the key to getting verified you know what yeah. i mean but let me ask you this then how how many hours a day do you sleep? Like, what's your schedule like for someone who gets to the bag? Someone who get like, what time are you up? What time do you go to sleep? What do you prioritize? You work out. You know what I mean? Like, what do you? What does your lifestyle look like? What is your day? What is a normal day for mine? I don't sleep. Okay, you don't sleep. There ain't gonna be no sleeping. And when I do sleep, I'm a knock out. I'm a knock the fuck out. You feel me? Okay. There ain't no sleeping, bro. Okay. Like, there's too much shit to be going on to be sleeping. Okay. So you waking up at what time? Shit, ain't no time. Six. Three, Four, five, they always be like the he early bird. Be, be they always be like the early bird. Get the worm, bitch. I be up before the rooster. Mm. You feel me? Mm. So I'm up. So you work out. You know what I mean? You're fit. No. Oh, you just gonna brag on your jeans? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> like you just gifted like that. That you don't have to work. He out. really is. I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah. Is. Okay. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm probably. Like acceptable in that category. I mean, he me? could work out for a week and he'll already I'll look. I blow up. I blow ripped. up like a like a. Like, I've been in the gym for Let years, it. bro. This man also has passed with athletics. This man is not just sit down on his ass. This man has the genes, and he also practiced it for many years. Play football. Play mm. football. He went what college. What position, Mazi? Let me guess. Don't tell me. Don't Listen, tell me. Don't tell me. This Shoot. man. You look like a safety, Mazi. I was a corner. And then they didn't even know I was blazing. I ran a 4-3 cell. Oh. You feel me? So I was on kickoff return and punt return. I'm talking about NFL clock. 
<laughs> at a junior. Wow. Don't let that shit fool you. Man, I was blazing. Listen. Mm. Like you just seen me with the, the crazy shit yeah. that just happened before the podcast. <laughs> yeah. What? Bro, and I started out jogging. I ain't worked out in years. Yeah. Zero I don't be working out, bro. Knees to chest. I, Knees listen, to chest. Still I was, to this when it comes when it comes to that type of shit, I don't know. It's just I think it's my genetics, to be honest. That's what everybody up. is just it's it's not easy for everybody. Ladies, would you say that you would you would it's his genetics. Yes. Our daughter, yeah, I mean, my daughter look at my genetics too. I have three kids. Does Tell it look like it? Damn. <laughs> yo, give me your props. Yo, most women after Tell three her. kids. I got the good yo, genes. Yo, let's, big, yo let's, let's take some time to big her up. Listen. Like, you got three kids. Listen. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> I got Mozzie in here. Mozzie, plug, plug your shit. Talk your shit, Mozzie. Where can people follow you? <laughs> Man, they can follow me on my Instagram. Hey. <laughs> yo, Mozzie, this is my thing with Mozzie, bro. I love you like my brother, but I be scrolling. Show me your Yo, listen, Mozzie. No. What he about to say, dog? What he about to say? I don't even care. Right, run it. Hold on. Let nah, me put this down. Let me put this down. Run it. What he about to I be do? Whatever he want to say, I run it. I, no, I'm care. saying, I be, I be scrolling. I be like, okay, bad Shoot. bitch, music, rapper, bad bitch, club promoter. Oh, shit, Mozzie's butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, Yo. <laughs> Yo, Mozzie just. A1. Mozzie, yo, yo Mozzie is yo, like in a fucking one. island with the yo. curtains open with his butt cheeks. I'm like, yo, yo I, <laughs> you live in the hashtag. Hey, dead ass though. I, hey, kiss my ass. <laughs> hey, that's how I feel. I don't, instead of me saying it, I'm just gonna show him what, what, what's me, Mozzie, happening. Let me though. tell you something. You are <laughs> unhateable. Like, there, if a guy, if a man hates on you, it, that says more about this man. True. Yes. You know what I mean? I would say that. But they don't get that though. Okay. They don't get that. Because you see my demeanor and shit, I'm not like a friendly ass dude to walk up to. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Unless you know me. Like, I, you know you know me, know me. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you'll think I'm trying to kill you. Mm-hmm. And, I could, and I could understand that from my past. I, I was a shotter. I ain't going to mm-hmm. lie. I was a top shotter. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as going on in life, that ain't going to get you nowhere. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So what ended up happening, I had to make a 360. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I did go to feds, mm-hmm. money laundering, five years and shit. Mm-hmm. So... It is what it is. Mm-hmm. You Boy, stood you, tall. You stood tall. I stood, did that shit. Yeah, I ain't snitched and none mm-hmm. of that, though. You mm-hmm. feel me? So it is what it is. But then mm-hmm. I had kids by my first baby mama and shit, and then things mm-hmm. kind of went different. You yeah. feel me? It was different. Yeah. It was more like, damn, I like this better than Yo, but doing crazy that, shit. That's like the American dream. Yo, so that's Steph, tell know. me about Steph. Tell me about like a memory, a visual memory that you have. Like, my, a lot of men can't satisfy two women at one time. Mm-hmm. So, Bruh. he's so on it though. Huh? He's so on it. It was three or four. Three or four. Okay, well, I, I'm still trying to get my business straight, so I can't like build businesses for multiple women. So, like, yo, <laughs> yo I might have to but sit. That's, that's, that's the thing though. But that's they the, can help you. I see, build see, that's that. that. That makes it that's easier. And see, they, they didn't even the say pain. shit like this before. The, see, because Mozzie, well, they, they help you. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? But we learn. We, 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 at first, it wasn't like that, but it, it, you, he built that. Like me, I was. No. I always worked I'm, the night. I'm getting them to a point where they can help me. You get it? Right now, I'm doing it for them. Mm-hmm. And they're coming the fuck along. When because I tell you, they have came a long I way. Be, I believe it. They came a long way, bro. Mozzie, because I think, yo, the thing is with me is that I could focus on my hustle. If I had somebody to just do like the simple shit for me, like, yo, I'm not trying to do laundry, Mozzie. I'm not trying to cook. Like, I'm not trying to like, I go to Chipotle four days a week trying to get my points on my iPhone. Listen. Listen. (laughs) Yo, I'm just talking shit. Let me just talk your shit. No, but listen, listen. Talk your shit, Listen, listen. Talk your shit, baby. Talk that shit. Mozzie, if I didn't have to worry about the, like, the, like, (laughs) I'm done. Yo, 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 y'all fuck with Chipotle? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. I eat Chipotle yeah, yeah. food. Hey, listen, <laughs> Mazi, listen to me. I eat that shit five days a week. Like I invested hey, in man. stock. I bought a thousand dollars of Chipotle stock. What? Yo, that's a good. That's, that's, that's smart. That's fire. That's Yo, smart. Yo, I made some money too because look, when this quarantine shit happened and all the restaurants had to do takeout. Chipotle, hey, when I, I peep game, I peep Chipotle was was like with the shits. They were quick with the takeout. They did it right online. So I was no, like, no, they Yo. wasn't even with takeout though. You know that too. 
They didn't have takeout until like a year ago. Right, but they got on the ago. online and the yeah. app. And yeah. they yeah. Even though a lot of these businesses Wait. have apps now. Yeah. But, now in but Chipotle was moment. the first Chipotle one. Chipotle was in-house, though. Oh, yeah, wow. Because they still Cause they food was fresh. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I'm into they changing them. them, them, them they changing them, them containers ASAP. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a fa- so I peeped that. Yeah, and I saw yo Chipotle. I like the way Chipotle is moving right now, like in this yeah. pandemic. So I put a thousand on the stock. Went up a little bit. You know what I mean? But it was good. Maybe. Polyamorous relationship. Shout out Steph. Shout out Rose. Ladies, question. Well, now we're talking about three people, so there's different positions and shit. Oh, and Mozzie, for this, you got a quarter. Do you quarterback this shit? Yeah, or you let sometimes. them quarterback? Who's nah, the quarterback? I'll be trying to let them Tom do it. That's Brady. why. I- <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 my man throwing listen, touchdown passes out here. Got listen, the game Hall of playing. Fame, motherfucker. <laughs> yo, yo, Rose, so tell me, what's, what's Mozzie's best quality in the bed? His determination, motherfucker. <laughs> what do you mean determination? Uh, this is the thing, Mozzie, and this is what I believe to be true. A lot of men just smash to get their nut. But for me, <laughs> yeah. listen, I get off He's- watching her get off. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I like you coming more than I like me coming. Yeah. Like I enjoy you fucking busting your nut more than I enjoy myself busting my nut. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. That's, That's me. exactly how he is. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and and a lot of men aren't like that. You know, the pen, men just tend to be, oh, let me get my nut there. And, and don't think that the, the other girl, you know, like, it's not they always d- easy for girls to just catch a nut. Or no, no, let me ask the ladies. Oh, shit. <laughs> we, <laughs> Rose, does Mazi eat pussy? Yeah. Okay. Yo, Ma- okay, Mazi, look, we got to get to. Right. This right. Uh huh. Oh, best whole... of the best. Okay, oh. okay, okay. <laughs> there's men and then there's men who eat pussy who eat pussy for them. I say, yo, I don't eat yes. pussy. For, look, I don't eat pussy for y'all. I eat pussy because I like to eat pussy. The passion. That's what the word is called. Passion. Yeah. I I feel like I'm I'm, I'm trying to show you it's different ways you can have that orgasm. Mm-hmm. You Fact. feel me? It ain't mm-hmm. just for me because sometimes bitch I be locking up down there, but I gotta keep going. I gotta keep. <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking like, cause you be down there for a long time. Not <laughs> really. I just don't like. Because yo, even he, when y'all bust, cause y'all bust early. Yeah. Y'all always have a, a, a nut. Especially with that tongue. Because, yeah. But it's he enjoys <laughs> eating pussy. He likes it. He he enjoys. You know what I mean. You getting your nut. But he men, real men enjoy eating, eating pussy. You, you know. At me like that, I'm man. watching you. Wow. Yo, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Turn the temperature down. Turn the temperature down. Yo, turn the temperature down. Turn the temperature down. Yeah. Yo. I'm going to drink my drink. Oh, man. You did not drink your drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's Coca-Cola in this motherfucking cup, bitch. You want me to drink this cup. You don't want Yo. me to get a refill. <laughs> you, you can do it, dog. You can make it more how do you enjoyable. Think, how do you feel about women that are like, um, like plastic surgery, like all these women getting. I, I, I don't condone the booty shit. I don't condone yeah. the, the titties the, are cool, right? But titties like, are yeah. awesome. You yeah, gonna get yeah. you some boobies yeah. because it's not even it's not even about just the. Titties I don't care are, about titties. For me, mm, boobs are a bonus. Me neither. But yeah. uh, sorry, after these motherfuckers, like, boy, that was like. Or change the lot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but they not. Are they real? They natural. Yeah, are listen, you sure? They, I'm asking. Are they? Real? Are they? Look, we hey, you got, you got, you got to check. You got it. You got it. You got to check OnlyFans. You got to check OnlyFans. Plug the OnlyFans, Mozzie. You got to check OnlyFans. Shout out to the shit. A smooth nineteen ninety nine a month. That's it. yeah. That's not crazy. even. They can see that. See, that's a thing. Free. It's see, thing. Mm-hmm. It's free. I subscription. But you gonna free. have to pay for what you want to see. Yep. You heard? I hear the prices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, that's the way I feel about it. Don't I don't even do the subscription shit. They can have that for what? I don't care about that. Y'all come and go, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You, you pay what you it? got. That's it. That's tax free, nigga. We in now. That's how I feel. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Real shit. Oh, I'm gonna talk that shit, bro. <laughs> so, ladies, ladies, I want to talk to y'all. So, what, Rose? What is like your favorite position? Mm-hmm. What is when y'all are together? I gotta be riding and she eating me out at the same goddamn time. Oh yeah. At the That's same fine. goddamn, I want to. How both does that work? Wait, 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 this wait. This exactly is complicated. You, uh, hold on, I'm trying to imagine it, right? Okay. 
Let's start this. You're Cl- right. Wait, I'm right in here. Hey, hey, I'm right in here. Everybody right. close your eyes. Close okay. your eyes. Close Hold your on. Eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. eyes. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. Yep. Mm-hmm. You on top. You riding the shit out of him. Yeah. And she come in curving from the back. Yeah. And just that tongue curve right <laughs> the yeah. fuck in. Why that don't, shit From the back? From one. the back? Don't, 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 don't. So while she's don't. in the while neighborhood, he, she don't. Hey. Uh-huh. He hey. gripping yeah, yeah. and moving. She bounced around. I put my hand around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same hey. damn time, and then she yeah. gets experimental. I don't give a fuck where she goes with that time. Yeah, anywhere, yeah, that shit just feels yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. What is going on? Yeah, damn, hey, you gotta hold up on the tip of the dick too, okay. bro. Exactly. Open up the booty cheek. He be old and shit. Hey. He be doing uh, shit. She doing yo, shit. when she's yeah. I can smash you if I get up and start getting into my beast mode and shit. That's yeah. a whole different ball game. Yeah. So I just let them do what they do, yeah. so you can catch it. But when Show I start out. getting like on, on the own, like just. You know, you know, like how I, when I came back from Puerto Rico Wake and shit, it's, it's, it's certain times, you know, you, you have to eat. She just took a yeah. breath. There's certain times when I just, because it's, it's just in me. I'm going to tell you, I got a reduction okay. on dick. What does that mean? Cut back. Just, just how it sounds. It's like he knows exactly when to do it, how to do it, to trigger the right sensation in you at the right moment to be able to get into your brain. It's right there to I'm the I'm knocking girl, your though. mic right now, Yeah, Casey. you need to stop doing Damn, that. Yo, no, nah, she's, <laughs> she's fucking... Yo, she digma, she's digmatized, bro. Definitely yo. digmatized. Yo, is that good? <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Yo, everybody plug your shit, Mozzie. Tell them where they can follow you. Just though. go follow him on OnlyFans. You understand what I'm saying with that shit he be doing. Yo, we here, Mommy on the Rocks, Casey Chops. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah. Subscribe, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. I'm trying to be the Miami Joe Rogan out here. We in the middle of a quarantine. We're reporting live from the epicenter of the coronavirus. You know what I mean? We got 87,000 new cases yesterday. <laughs> and we just so out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on. It just sound like a war zone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me talk my shit. I feel Listen. Like we, we <laughs> talk your shit. Yo, let me like, talk my no, shit. No, you bitch. Got the way he talking, let us know. Yo, the way he talking, bitch, I feel like I got AIDS. <laughs> Yo, when Mozzie walked in, listen, y'all, when Mozzie walked in, he said, yo, you know what my jeans are like? Shout out my brother Mozzie. I appreciate you coming through, bro. Shout out Rose. Shout out Steph. Mozzie, plug your shit, man. Tell everybody yo, where man. they can find you. It's Ghost. It's G-H-X. S-I-I. Yo, why are you acting like you don't know your own IG, Mozzie? Because some people don't know how to spell it that way. Okay. You feel me? So. All right. Rose, yeah, tell everybody where they can follow you. They can follow me at Rose Valerie, R O S E V A L E R I. Okay. Nah, you forgot the dot. Dot and the, the underscore. Yo, see, we <laughs> see, we lit. Yeah, Y'all got some complicated ass Instagrams. It's but my it's, name. Find me. All right. Yeah, true. Steph. Mine's is Steph mm-hmm. Almonte. Uh-huh. A-L-M-O-N-T-E underscore. Bum. S-T-E-P-H. There it is, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming through. Good conversation. Let's get it. Mind me on the rocks. Casey Chops, we lit.